You know, 2020 is going to be filled with so many puns about perfect vision. Please don't. I can't wait to see them all. <laughs> Anyways, hello and happy new year, everyone. We hope you had an excellent holiday and we welcome you to another episode of City Council Roundup. I'm your host, Josh Lee. And I'm Kathleen Paid. And today we're going to be doing a quick recap of the meeting from Monday, January 13th, 2020. Today we're going to talk about contracts for water treatment chemicals, results of the Community Perception Survey completed at the end of 2019, and Bailey Road traffic improvements. First, water treatment chemicals. There were two contract renewals, one for liquid ammonium sulfate and polyphosphate with Napco Chemical Company, and another for sodium hypochlorite liquid bleach with PVS mini bulk to guarantee that we can provide high quality water to Pearland residents whenever they need it. They were just renewals, but we mentioned them because the estimated cost is increasing to accommodate additional water that will be brought in when three new ground storage tanks are installed this year. But the way the contracts are structured as unit price contracts, we only pay for what we use. Second, results of the 2019 community survey. Every other year, the city partners with a professional survey firm to conduct statistically valid community perception and opinion surveys. This particular survey is the industry standard for cities around the country, providing us not only a view of our own historical trends, but also a benchmark against the nationwide average, as well as other cities with income and population similar to ours. These are an important tool for city staff to receive resident feedback on city services, quality of life, and the community at large. Staff use these results to identify challenges, plan for the future, and evaluate improvements to ensure sustainability and long-term success. The survey was conducted in 2019 and staff have been reviewing results, but this was the first opportunity to put the presentation materials before council for review. The three biggest takeaways found that residents continue to enjoy a high quality of life, that economy is an important focus area for the city, and that mobility leaves room for improvement, which we all know as we drive these roads too. The survey also shows us where residents want us to focus our attention, spending on priority mobility projects to catch up to the growth that Pearland has experienced. The good news, as you're probably already aware, is that there are already numerous transportation projects underway around town to improve mobility. The survey cements what we know, that Pearland is a great place to raise a family because of our focus on providing a safe community and opportunities to live, work, and play. To view the full survey and its report, check out the link below. Which segues nicely into our final topic a pilot program for a new traffic signal system along the Bailey Road corridor. The city's traffic division has identified a new traffic management system called Advanced Transportation Management System that is anticipated to reduce time commitment for maintenance and provide data to reduce traffic delays, emergency response times, and increase intersection functionality. With a focus on the city's desire to improve mobility, staff proposed a pilot program along the Bailey Road corridor to determine whether new traffic signal software will be able to effectively reduce traffic delays, improve intersection level of service, and provide additional functionality with installs at the Veterans, McLean, Manville, and Harkey intersections. If the pilot program proves effective, a long-term implementation will be developed and presented, and we'll make sure that you hear about it here. Council had an excellent discussion and approved the, a contract for the installation of the equipment in the amount of $63,000. And that's all we wanted to cover today. Thanks for joining us. We hope that this series makes the information easy to understand and useful for those interested in Pearland government. As always, you can find links to more detailed information below or by visiting pearlandtx.gov. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions. Click here to watch the last episode of City Council Roundup or here to subscribe to the channel. One more New Year's joke. Oh, do it. Did you hear 2019 and 2020 got in a fight? No. Yeah, 2021. <laughs> <laughs>